So this evening is going to be our next full moon. This is the blood worm moon. We call the March full moon the worm moon because this is the time of year that the ground is thawing and worms are starting to come back up from the surface. And it's also being called the blood moon because we're going to be dealing with a lunar eclipse into the very early morning hours of your Friday. So the moon is coming up for us tonight at around eight o'clock in the evening and then it sets early tomorrow morning uh, at around eight in the morning, excuse me. However, during the very early morning hours of your Friday, the moon is going to appear red and that's why it's also called the blood moon. It should be pretty cool to see. This is our lunar eclipse. So when exactly are we going to be able to see this? Well, like I mentioned, the very early morning hours of your Friday, we will bring in the earth. We will bring in the sun. We will bring in the moon to our studio. And again, for explanatory purposes, this is not drawn to scale. So when can you expect this to happen? Well, the partial eclipse will begin just after 1 a.m. Friday morning. Set your alarm for this. We'll start to see that red, uh, that red hue across portions of the moon. The total eclipse will begin just before 2.30 in the morning. The moon is going to appear uh, red completely. It will be brightest, the maximum eclipse, just before three o'clock, and it will stay in that uh, total eclipse until just around 3.30. At that uh, time, we'll start to see the red fading across the moon with the uh, ending of this happening during the uh, four o'clock hour at around 4.45, that partial eclipse will be coming to an end and uh, we will no longer see the red hue of the moon. It will just be full in the sky. So again, set those alarms early tomorrow morning between the hours of about 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Our moon is going to look red and it should be a sight to see.